Hi, YouTubers. This is a demo and testing of my augmented reality game. Gamers are saying it's too hard to hit the targets. Okay, moving back, so not to near. Okay, here we go. So far, not to good. Yes, bullseye. Need 10 to get extra arrows. Yes. Okay, let's try for 50. Yes. How about another easy 10 pointer? Yes. Okay, let's up our game and go for a 100. Not so easy. Let's try again. Yes, just clipped it that time. And once more. 100 again, I'm on a roll. How about quick 10 pointer? Oh, and he misses. Back to the 100s as we're testing how hard the game is. It's tricky, but it's 100 it should be hard. Let's take more time to aim carefully. Think I'll try some 50s. Just clipped it. Still a hit. Need 10 to get extra arrows. Back to the 100s. Miss. And again missed. I'm happy with the level of difficulty on the 100s. They should be hard to hit. 10s should be the easiest. And they are. As a test, how about another 50? And 50s are not so bad. So I'm happy with the level of difficulty. Please try it for yourself on Snapchat. I did not make a TikTok version, sorry. You seen me get a pretty good score. See if you can do better. And comment below with your top scores. Thanks. And now, some behind-the-scenes footage. This game did not require too many assets. I like my projects to have a unique look. So I usually start with Blender. I needed to create the bow and one arrow. I already had the hands. I wanted the bow to animate with some recoil. So needed to rig it in Blender and animate the frames. Creating the balloon and target was simple, but for extra detail. I decided to add the rope texture. I also created a bunch of balloons with a star. As extra bonus score with the star falling and breaking when hit, this got removed from the final game. Now we switch to Lens Studio. Most of the work involved writing JavaScript to make the arrows behave realistically, controlling the bow animation stages, and triggering sound effects at the correct times as well as scoring. I wanted the velocity of the arrows to be related to how far the bow is drawn back. I wanted the arrows to dip as they start to lose velocity so their flight is more realistic. Also, when an arrow hits a target, I want the arrow to totally lose velocity and fall to the ground. I made the balloons move slowly up, down, left and right to simulate some wind turbulence which makes the target harder to hit. I also made the target swing and twist so they look more realistic. There's a lot more to it. But to save time, maybe that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Chain Mates.